It ain't about how many cars or how big the freaking house is. Power couple means, look, I'm going to support you because I, I believe in I believe in what you're speaking. I believe in what you're saying. And you're going to support me because you believe in me. What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Roberto. Back in the house. Y'all saw the thumbnail. I'm going to be doing a reaction video. We're going to be exposing a chance. For the freaking phenomenal <laughs> brother that he is, um, he was on. His wife did an interview on the club Shay Shay, and I was listening to it a, a couple of days ago. And there's some key freaking principles. If you're dating, if you're married, if you want to be married one day, if you want to fall in love one day, if you're in love, if you're out of love, if you're on the fence, this video right here is a freaking video you need to watch. Before I get started with this video, I'm going to be reacting to it because I'm, I'm so excited with some of the information that, he, that he's talking about. I'm going to be jumping a lot. I'm letting y'all know that now. But before I get started, I, I, I want to say this up front. That, that this, this video is, is, is in honor of my wife, um, Jamila Ballard. And you'll see why as we go through this. All right, let's rock and roll with this one and let's get it. Let's go. And believe in when I say, I got us. Yeah. Right. And and even when I didn't believe in myself, finding a way mm. to get me back up into my belief system so that I could take care of my family. So she's been playing second so well that I learned from her how to do it. And what I and now I need to be. a. What, 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 wait, wait, wait. Well, my man said she been playing second so well that he learned how to do it. Yo. That is in, that, that's crazy. She was playing second so well because he was the one out there working. And it's crazy that he learned from her. I, I listened to that the other day. I'm like, yo, how many freaking principles, how many life lessons have I learned from my wife? I've said this before and I'm going to say it a thousand freaking times as long as I have the microphone. The reason why we, uh, my wife and I, are sitting in our ho own home had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with her because I didn't believe we could get a home. I didn't think we were ready to get a home. Um, I came home from work one day and she said, Rob, we are both working way too hard to keep paying rent like this. The rent was insane. Rent was insane when we was in Jersey. And for some reason, we got to Georgia. It was okay for a hot second. And then it seemed to go crazy. And so, um, yo, I love what he just said, that she played second so well that he learned it from her. Let's go. Soldier for Let's her. Go. Right. Well, I'm, I'm going to be a soldier mm. for her. So... It's easy for me, and it, especially when it's coming like this right. in abundance. <laughs> Tight, Gotta you know. I don't really, that. yeah. I don't really. So I, I haven't encountered too many people in my immediate circle. Mm -hmm. and I've had quite a few people, especially when I moved here to L.A., to kind of tell me that we weren't gonna make it, and you know all this because it's just impossible. Right. I'm a country boy. You ain't seen the city yet. You don't know what kind of women out here. That right. type of thing. Um, but go ahead, brother. I. When I came out here, I came out here with a goal, right? And that goal was mm -hmm. for us to make something out of nothing, right? So I, I found my, I just associated with people who were married, other young <coughs> people who were married or other people who were married and like-minded. And when it started turn, you know, going left with negative thinking and negative, I kind of put a yeah. wedge in there right. to protect what I got in my household. Wow. Yo, I know that's right. I know that's right. Um... To protect, I don't know why um, people feel the need to always tell couples, especially when couples look young, what they can and can't do. Um, I've experienced this a lot, not, not so much anymore, because I kind of, just like Chance said, I, I built up this wall. So there's certain things that, that are not going to come into my household because I'm not going to allow it. Not going to allow a, a, a gossip and, and, and drama within the ballot walls. They could, people could do that all day, all night on the outside. You're not going to do that in here. But the thing that struck me, the, the thing that, that, that Chance spoke about that struck me the most on this one, y'all, is that a man can operate with integrity. Talking about because he was a, a country boy, you ain't seen the women out here. There are some men who don't give a rat's ass about another woman. They only care about their wife. You know what's freaking crazy? 
we see men that they get labeled boring because he wants to go. He don't want to go club hopping. He don't want to go out to the bar with his boys. He don't want to go to the strip club. That's me. He'll, he, you know, he don't want to go to the after work things. All I want to do is when I'm done working is I want to go home, sit on the couch. If my wife is home, chill with her. If she's out, wait for her to come home and chill. That's my life. I'm okay. You can call me boring all day, all night. Shout out to all my boring brothers out there. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having integrity and loving one woman. There's nothing wrong with shutting the world out. The thing that amazed me, um, not, not amazed me, the thing that got me when Chance was talking, he said he does what he has to do to protect what's in his house. He said when they moved to California, they came focused. There's nothing that will deter a man that's focused. He loves his wife. She gave him an opportunity. She retired him from, I think he was a police officer. She retired him from his job. This is something that we need to applaud on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't see enough men, or in my opinion, we don't hear enough men taking this stance. And so I, I'm like, yo, I'm going to take my time through this one. There's so many different principles. I love how he respects his wife. I learn how he's loving his wife. I pray to God that my wife feels the same way. My wife is so gifted. She is so talented. I want her to know. I'm, I told her this before. I'm good playing number two. I've been number one before. I'm okay with that. I'm okay being number two. I'm okay rocking with her. I'm okay sitting on the sidelines. I'm okay carrying her back. Let me keep going with this one, y'all. I feel the preacher coming out. I'm okay carrying her uh, 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 her handbag. I'm okay carrying her Bible. I'm okay carrying her sneakers so she could put her shoes on. I'm okay driving her to where she needs to go. I'm okay being quiet until she gets there if she needs to meditate. I'm okay with all of that. It doesn't make me a Mitch. It doesn't make me any of them things. It makes me a supportive husband. And I love this. And I, I gotta, I gotta give my man a hand clap because it is inspiring to see a black man supporting his queen the way they should be supported. And listen. We're going to hear it in a minute. It didn't start that way. The roles switched because her content creation took off. We got to believe in each other. We got to, as a couple, we got to believe in each other. I tell my wife all the time, we are our own team. This is our universe. We're not going to have a hairstylist come in and this person come. No, we are, we are our own team. We will support each other. We'll rock out. And I love to see his stance on it. He's like, I don't care about what the women look like in, in, in California. I didn't come there for that. I came there with this black queen. I came in with my beautiful queen. And so my brothers and sisters, if you are with your queen, you support them. You rock out with them. Ride or die with them. I would not be in this particular moment doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for my wife, y'all. That's the preacher me, y'all. My bad. Let's go. From the very beginning, I'm not lying to you. I could literally come in the house and tell my wife I wanted to be an astronaut. Mm. And the next day, she's going to have the paperwork, everything laid. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the kind of support. That's the kind of support that I that's got. That's my bed right, right there. That, that's right. my bed. I'm going to order the soup from I Amazon. Say, <laughs> I can say, hey, look, she was that kind of crazy. Right? right. So I got all of that prior to what the world see right. now. Right. See, they don't, they don't know that portion of the story, right. how she was there supporting me and making me feel like an alpha male and king. She's right. been treating me like a king mm. for the majority of our relationship. Mm. Wow. Mm. It is so important that we support each other. When my wife and I first got married, y'all, um, we had a church at the time. We were married... As a matter of fact, we married. We got married uh, one week, and maybe two weeks later, we we started a ministry. Right? I think we did it for two years. I got burnt out, and I came home one day and I said, "I can't do this no more." Um, there were too many personal things going on um, with us blending our families and us acclimating to a new lifestyle. To have this outside entity going on, right? And a lot of it I was pushing. I was pushing, right? Um, but what I knew I needed to do is I needed to stop. And this still took years, y'all. Years. 
to learn who I married. I think sometimes we try to fit our partners into our life or fit our partners into our world as opposed to um, learning and evolving as a couple. Every young couple, one of my one of my biggest suggestions is this, is that you get away from everybody so that you two can learn who you are as a couple. So you two can learn each other. I can say now I'm my wife's friend. I can say now I'm her friend. But it took a lot of energy and a lot of work. And so when I listen to what he's saying in the time period when Tabitha was home, um, making him feel empowered because he was the king, make, making him feel like that. Um, and now that the roles are reversed, he is in a position to serve. And he said, yo, I'm going to do that 1,000%. Yo, that's priceless, y'all. Too much of this, there's too, there's too, in so many relationships, there's so much competition. Who does what? Who's going to do what? Um, because I want to outshine him. I want to outshine her. And we think this is not pop, We think this doesn't happen. It happens every single day. My wife and I hear from couples all the time. They compete against each other. But we're on the same team. How can I compete against you when we're on the same team? We're supposed to be rocking out the same. The last um, five, six years, I've been... I, I'm happy playing number two. I'm good with that because I want my wife to fulfill every single thing in her heart that God has designed her for, to fulfill. And she wants the same for me. Um, she's been incredibly supportive. She's been the only one to push me past my limitations. And so we need to, we need to acknowledge men that take the forefronts like this, young, like this gentleman right here. This, this, he's a friend in my head, y'all. He's a friend in my head. There's so many times as black men, we pull each other down. We dogging them out. Uh, 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 when men want to go behind another man's back to talk to his girl. You know, so it is refreshing to hear a man with standards, with commitment that, that as a culture, we can look up to. So I'm going to applaud my man on this one, y'all. I'm going to applaud him. I, there was nothing, no BS to expose. He ain't do nothing crazy. But I think it's a conversation worth mother freaking having. Where would, where would I be without my wife? Where would, we, where would we be without each other? Where would they be if he didn't give her the free? Let's talk about that for a moment. Where would they be, brothers? Where? Listen, I, I'm not talking about giving somebody freedom to just lollygag and do nothing with their life. That's not what I'm talking about. Where would they be as a couple if he did not give her the freedom to create the avenue and the support to create the avenue and the path that she wanted to go down? Even He said even when he didn't believe, even when he thought it was crazy because he couldn't see it, he didn't understand content creation. He didn't understand where she was going. He said, I loved her enough to know if it doesn't hurt us, we can put a plan together and we're going to achieve it. That's what the freak I'm talking about. We talk about power couples. It ain't about money. It ain't about how many cars or how big the freaking house is. Power couple means, look, I'm going to support you because I, I, believe in, I believe in what you're speaking. I believe in what you're saying. And you're going to support me because you believe in me. That's being a power couple. And together we come together and we build, the, we build these businesses and we build our home and we build our family. Whatever it is that you two want to build, you guys have the freaking power to do it. And you don't need, you don't, if you get family support, freaking great. If you don't, even better. When it comes to, I'm going to rock out with all our kids. They want to do something, I'm going to rock out with them. My, my wife, she's going to rock out with them. But for us, with, with, with some of the elders that we had to deal with, didn't support us. And I told her, that's not going to stop us. We're not going to stop. That's not what the ballots do. We're going we gonna to keep pushing. We're going to keep, we're going to keep, we're going to, listen. If it's yard by yard, we're going to take that ball, we're going to tuck it, and we're going to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. That's what I want to encourage every freaking young couple to do, no matter where you are. You're not a power couple because of what you drive. You're not a power couple because of the money you have in the bank. You're a power couple because you made the decision to live 
to blend your life and, and commit to each other and trust and believe in each other. And my brothers, you don't let anybody come and break that bond. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I'm a preacher at heart, y'all, so I'm always going to be that guy. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I hope it was encouraging. I hope it was inspiring. Chance, I salute you, my brother. Continue, continue to support your wife. And just know there are men out here who are listening to you, who are paying attention. Um, y'all get at me in the next episode, all right? Peace. Ah.